In this video by ABN Painting, we are working on exterior of a stucco house. And before painting the house, we did the following preparation work. We power washed the house a day earlier. We masked all the windows using green tape and plastic. We fixed any hairline cracks around the windows using elastomeric patch. We ran a 12 inch masking paper where the stucco of the house meets the concrete floor and covered the rest of the area using tarps. We masked off the block wall that is next to the house and will not be painted. We ran masking paper all around the roof tile where the tile meets the stucco. And when we are painting the second level of the house, we will cover the remaining tile using tarps. We removed the window screens on the side of the house where the screens were preventing us from masking the windows properly. Using tarps we covered the pool equipment. A part of the block wall that will not be painted we covered with paper as well as a few other things on the side of the house that we don't want to get the paint on. Before spray painting the house we placed the paint spray on a tarp uh, to prevent any paint spills or drips. After we were finished with preparation work we spray paint the body of the house. We used one of our tall extension ladders to reach all the way to the top and now we are using one of our smaller A ladders to paint the lower part of the house. After we are finished spray painting the body of the house we are using a mineral and a brush to paint the trim fascia. We used 12 inch masking paper to cover the body of the house so we can spray paint the pop-outs an accent color. Uh, for the pop-outs we're using slightly smaller tip than for the body. It's 411 so we don't have to waste a lot of paint and also it gives less overspray than larger tip. After we finished spray painting all pop-outs on the front of the house we spray paint all the doors. Before spray painting the doors, we removed the weather strips around and we applied blue painter's tape to the inner part of the door frame to catch any potential overspray. We power washed the doors together with the house a couple of days earlier and now just before spray painting them, we're using a rag to wipe them down to make sure they don't have any dust or dirt on them. We used flat finish for the stucco part of the house and the wood trim and now we are using satin finish to paint all the doors. It would be a lot easier to clean the doors with satin finish if they get dirty. Right now we are using regular latex paint to paint all the doors. And after we finish we will be using oil based paint for the metal security door on the front. To prepare the metal door for spray painting we cover the area around using a combination of paper and plastic. The concrete we cover with tarps. The hardware we mask using green painter's tape. And we dust off the door using the brush to make sure it's dust and dirt free before we spray paint it. We are spray painting this door using Rust-Oleum oil based paint that we buy at Home Depot. It works great for metal security doors and it lasts a very long time. After we have finished spray painting all the doors, we do clean up and touch ups. And after we're done, this is the look of the house. 